Is it fantasy that I am still alive? Or did some higher power save me? What? That awful snake dead at my feet? and thousands. Perhaps I can do some speculating there with my birds. Tell me, what is this land called? Who rules it? Oh, I can't answer you that any more than I can tell you how I happen to come into this world. What? You don't know where you were born or who your parents were? No, not a thing. I only know that not far from here is my little straw hut which protects me from the cold and the rain. But by what do you live? By eating and drinking, just as everyone else. And uh, how do you get it? By exchange. I catch all kinds of lovely birds for the star-flaming queen and her ladies, and in return I receive food and drink from them every day. Star-flaming queen? Tell me, friend, were you ever fortunate enough to see this goddess of the night? See her? See the star-flaming queen? Oh, what mortal can boast of ever having seen her? The way he stares at me, pretty soon I shall begin to be frightened of him. Stay away from me, I tell you, and uh, 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 don't trust me, for I have the strength of a giant. If he doesn't begin to be frightened soon, I shall have to run for it. Strength of a giant? Yes! Then it was perhaps you who fought this monster. What? The snake? Is it dead or alive? Tell me, friend, how in the world did you kill this monster? You have no weapons. Oh, I don't need weapons. With me, a good squeeze of the hand is more than weapons. 
Then you choked it. Choked it. Never in my life was I as strong as I am today. <laughs> Papa Gaino! Oh, heavens. What can I have done to have made them so angry? Here, lovely ladies, I brought you my birds. This time in return, the queen sends you, instead of wine, pure, clear water. And she ordered me, instead of sugar bread, to give you this stone. Here's good health to you. What? I shall eat stones? And instead of sweet figs, I have the honor of locking up your mouth with this golden padlock. Mm. I imagine you would like to know why the queen punishes you in such a strange fashion. Mm. So that in the future you will never again tell lies to strangers. And that you will never boast of heroic deeds achieved by others. Tell us. Did you kill this serpent? Mm. Who did then? Prince, it was we who saved you. The great queen sent you this portrait of her daughter. If you find that these features are not indifferent to you, she says, then happiness, honor, and glory will be your destiny. Uh, farewell. Adieu, Monsieur Papagino. Don't drink too much. <laughs>
lies open to you. She has heard every word you said. She has read, read every expression of your features. She has decided to make you completely happy. Oh, if this youth, said she, is as zealous and brave as he is kind-hearted, then my daughter will certainly be saved. Come, maidens, lead me. She shall be saved. I swear it by my love and by my heart. Heavens, what is that? Take heart. That betokens the arrival of our queen. She comes. She comes. She comes.
opposite reality that I saw. Good God, do not deceive me. <laughs> Suffer and he not even can complain. <laughs> I can no help or comfort or I wish I could relieve thy pain. I can no help or comfort or I wish I could relieve thy pain. I wish I could. I wish I could really thy pain. Look, we do relent from punishment, from punishment, no shock and increase. Oh, what a joy again to chat her. Too cool, and I will tell you. Oh, lie no more, I promise thee. This time long may thy warning be. This time long shall my voice. This shall my warning be.
to your mother's palace. And just as I was about to hand over my birds, I saw someone standing in front of me who called himself Prince. This prince so impressed your mother that she gave him your portrait and ordered him to set you free. 
His decision was just as quick as his love for you. Love? He loves me, then? Oh, say that again. It feels so good to hear the word love. <laughs> that I believe, for you are a girl. <laughs> but uh, where was I then? You said love. Right, love. Now, hasn't she got a good memory? Come, your eyes will be bright when you see this handsome youth. Well, then let us go in. But suppose this is only a trap. Suppose he be but the evil genius of Sarastro. Me? An evil genius? Oh, what are you talking about? I'm no genius at all. Friend, forgive me if I have offended you. You have a tender heart. Oh, certainly I have a tender heart. But what good does it do me? Oh, sometimes I feel like ripping out all my feathers when I think that Papageno hasn't found a Papagena yet. Poor man. Then you have no one? No, not even a sweetheart, let alone a wife. And people like us have their gay hours, too, when they would like to, uh, well, when they would like to have some fun. Have patience, friend. The gods will take care of you. They will send you a wife before you even think. Oh, no. 
shaking, I'm trembling, I'm shaking. I wish I were a mouse to hiding I would turtle. Oh, could I like a turtle creep in my little house? But stay, how can we ever stay him? Be true, sir. be true, sir. We
castrated servant of the great God. With pure heart, I declare that today's assembly is one of the most important. Great Sarasto, Camino the Prince, waits at the northern portal of our temple, longing for the enlightenment toward which all of us have been striving with energy and zeal. To watch over this high-minded youth and to stretch out to him the hand of friendship <coughs> shall be one of our foremost duties this day. Is he virtuous? Virtuous. Can he keep silence? He can. Is he benevolent? Benevolent. Pamina, the gentle, virtuous maiden, has been designated by the gods for this noble youth. Therefore, we have torn her from the side of her proud mother. This woman hopes to destroy the firm foundations of our temples. However, in that she shall not succeed. Tamino himself shall become one of us and aid us to strengthen the power of virtue and wisdom.
Papageno, are you still with me? Most certainly I am. Where do you think we are now? Where we are? Well, if it wasn't so dark around here, I might be able to tell you. But this way... Help! Help! What is wrong? Oh, I don't feel quite at ease in this affair. You are afraid, I can see. Well, not afraid, really. I just have ice-cold shivers up and down my back. Oh, heavens! What is it? I think I'm getting a slight fever. Shame on you, Papageno. But be a man. Oh, I wish I were a girl. Oh, my end has come. Strangers, what do you seek from us? What prompts you to intrude upon our sanctuary? Friendship and love. Are you prepared to fight for this at risk of your very life? I am. Even if death were your lot? Yes. Give me your hand. Will you two fight for the love of wisdom? No. <laughs> Fighting isn't exactly in my line. And to be truthful, for once, I don't demand any wisdom either. I'm just a child of nature who was satisfied with food, sleep, and drink. And if I once could catch a pretty little wife... That you shall never do, unless you undergo our trials. Oh. And of what do these trials consist? You must subject yourself to all our laws and not even fear death. Huh. I'll remain single, thank you. <laughs> but if Sarastro has already chosen a bride for you who resembles you in color and dress perfectly... Resembles me? Is she young? Young and beautiful. Oh, and her name is... Papagena. Papa? Papagena. Papagena! Oh, I really would like to see her out of sheer curiosity. See her you may. Yes. And after I have seen her, then do I have to... Yes? I'll remain single. You may see her, but as yet you must not speak a single word to her. Will your mind have sufficient strength to control your tongue? Oh, yes. Your hand. You shall see her. On you too, Prince. The gods impose a reverent silence. If you fail in this, you both are lost. You will see Pamina, but you may not speak to her. This is the beginning of your probation time. Beware of woman's craft, it's teeming. This is the Odysseus command. Many a man of wealth and dreaming. Was tempted, was tempted, and could not withstand. leave us, you can't see your hand in front of your face. Bear it with patience. Remember, it is the will of the God. Can bear. A bird, he don't have a care. You're bound by your probation. 
to be brave against temptation. You'll hurt yourself, this is our end. Keep your promise and be still. Always still and always still and always still and always still. The thief has come hurry to the end. In yonder temple she is here. What's that? The queen herself is here. Pray quiet, but be still. Thus you son of a forswearing. He is indeed a foolish darling. Camino gone, our love and glory. It's so the queen you will betray. Oh, wise and he but does not mind the common talk of lower times. Oh, wise and he but does not mind. This is outrageous, it's outrageous, it's outrageous, it's outrageous, on my word. Tell me, tell me, no. Is it so? Such gossip women are pretty, is but a hypocrite's deceit. But did the queen not say it all? She talked just as all women do. Believe my word and hold your tongue. Act like a man, be brave and strong. If the gods really have selected a Papagena for me, then why do I have to exert myself so hard to win her? Let your reason answer that inquisitive question. My reason? <laughs> then I'll have to wait a long time for an answer. Come then, my duty demands that I lead you on. Oh, with such eternal wanderings, I really think I'll give up love forever. Well... Maybe on second thoughts, I'd better change my mind. Hey, mister! Mister! Wait for me! Oh, wait for me! Oh. Ah, here I find a brutish beauty. What man could remain cold and unmoved before such a vision? The fire which burns within me will truly consume me. I'm you, 
that I was all alone and unobserved. One little kiss, I should think, could be excused. <laughs> Whoever sweetheart called me tried to steal and give a kiss. Just because I'm strange and homely, must I all the pleasures miss? Must I all the pleasures miss? Why am I abominated? Why does she my love repel? Why does she my love repel? If to suffer I am fated, I prefer to live in hell. I prefer to live in hell. I prefer to live in hell. Therefore I will to have pleasure, love and kiss and have pee pee. For this pretty little treasure, charm that captivated me, charm that captivated me. Oh, how fine this fragile flower. God's what beauty and what grace. God's what beauty and what grace. Moon, why do you look so sour? Turn away your jealous face. Turn away your jealous face. Turn away your jealous face. What's this? Mother! Mother, dearest mother! Mother? Hmm, one will have to watch this from a distance. Do you see this dagger? It is for Sir Astro. You must kill him. Oh, dearest mother! Not a word. Yourself to oh. me. 
Why do you tremble? Because I'm a moor or because of the murder that is planned? You know that? Everything. There's only one way for you to save yourself and your mother. And that is? To love me. Oh, God! Well, maiden, yes or no? No! No? Then die! Um, Lord! I am innocent! Go! No. Sire, do not punish my mother. Her soul to have lost me. I is... know everything. But you shall see how I take revenge upon your mother.
by yourself. Hear the trumpet call. Start on your way in this direction. Prince, farewell. Once more, do not forget the word. Silence. Up again, oh. Anyone who breaks his silence in this place is punished by the gods with thunder and lightning. Farewell. This is a jolly life. If only I were in the woods or in my little straw hut, at least I would hear a bird sing occasionally. Shh, don't shush me. I should think I'm allowed to talk to myself. What a place. Not even a single drop of water does one get from these people, let alone anything else. <laughs> is that for me? Yes, my angel. Oh, thank you. Water. Tell me, you unknown beauty, are all guests treated like this? Surely, my angel. That's what I thought. Come, Grandma, sit down here with me. I feel frightfully bored here. Uh. Tell me, how old are you? How old? Yes, how old are you? Eighty years and two minutes? Eighteen years and two minutes. <laughs> Eighteen years and two minutes. <laughs> well, you young angel, tell me, do you have a sweetheart? Naturally. <laughs> you do? And is he as young as you are? Not quite. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a bad cough you have there. He is ten years older. Ten years older than you are? Oh, that must be quite a fiery love. <laughs> and uh, what is the name of your sweetheart? Papa Gano. Papa. Papa Gano? Where is he then, this Papa Gano? He is sitting right here, my angel. Oh, you mean he was sitting right there? My angel. So I am your sweetheart. Yes, my angel. Oh, and what is your name? My name is... Oh, 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 heavens. From now on, I'll never speak another word. Mm. 
Mr. Sarastro certainly has a good cook. <laughs> this way, I wouldn't mind keeping quiet. If I was always treated to such good food. Ooh. Now we shall see if his cellar is as good as his kitchen. This wine is fit for the gods. Camino, you hear? I follow the sound of your flute. But you are sad. You speak no word to your Pamina. Papa Gaino, you tell me, what is my friend? <laughs> Do you love me no more? Oh. Oh. This is more bitter to me than death.
Tamino! Oh, Tamino! As long as I live, I will never leave your side again. Tamino! Just this once. Please don't desert your poor fellow traveler. Tamino! Oh, ah! Heavens alive! Oh, where shall I turn? Oh, if only I knew how I got into this place. Oh, me! Now I can neither go forwards nor backwards. Oh, serve me right. Maybe I'll have to starve here. Why did I ever come to this place with him? <laughs> Wretched man. Oh, go away. <laughs> you deserve to wander in the dark abysses of the earth. But the kind gods exempt you from this punishment. However, you shall never experience the heavenly pleasures of the ordained. I don't care a fig about the ordained. At the moment, to me, the greatest pleasure would be a nice glass of wine. Other than this, you have no further wish in the world. Well, not so far. 
you shall be served with it. Hey, here it is already. Thank you. Ah, this is good. Very good. Marvelous. Heavenly. Divine. Oh, I feel so happy now. I could fly to the sun if I had wings. <laughs> oh, oh, but something queer. Something queer is happening in my heart. Oh. Oh, I want, I wish, but what? My life with says all and all happiness would be. All happiness would be. All happiness would be. No sorrow my gladness would bear, but no king on this earth would do bear. I nearly a treasure would miss. My life would be heavenly bliss. No sorrow, my gladness would bear. I never a pleasure would miss. My life would be heavenly bliss. Would be heavenly bliss. Would be heavenly bliss. A sweet heart for a maiden is up again, O sea. I like with pleasure, a maiden, all happiness would be. All happiness would be. All happiness would be. Oh, why does my fortune keep teasing? To so nobody then am I pleasing. If not to no time be in need, my plight will be sorry indeed. If not will, oblige me in need. If not will oblige me in need, my plight would be sorry indeed. Would be sorry indeed. Would be sorry indeed. <laughs> A sweet amour a maiden is half a gain of sea. I like with pleasure laden all happiness would be. All happiness would be. All happiness would be. My heart was so sovereign in life, and no longer would be unrequited. But if a part be my deceived, my suffering would soon be relieved. My suffering would soon be relieved. But if a part be my deceived, my suffering would soon be relieved. Would soon be relieved. Would soon be relieved. Here I am, my angel. So you took pity on.
on me. Yes, my angel. Uh, what wonderful luck I have. And if you promise to be true to me forever, then you will see how tenderly your little wife will love you. Oh, you tender little ghost, you. Oh, how I shall embrace you. Huh? Even press me to your heart. Come, give me your hand as a pledge of our union. Oh, no, 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 not so fast, dear angel. Such a marriage deserves some consideration after all. Papa Gaino, I advise you, don't hesitate with your hand, or you will be imprisoned here forever. Imprisoned? Bread and water will be your daily diet. You must live with our friends or Sweetheart, you must renounce the world forever. Renounce the world forever? Drink water? Oh, no. In that case, I'll take an old one rather than none at all. Well, here is my hand with the assurance that I will always be true to you until I find someone prettier. Here you you are. swear that? Yes, I swear it. Back, I say, or woe unto you. Oh. Oh. Sir, how dare you meddle in my family affairs?
Tres Hennessy son Marita Farrell, Nona Pauli y Helen Oldheim.